What's up everybody, my name is Simpistato and today I'm bringing you with a beautiful monster taming game called Bloomtown. Now I know this isn't like your regular old Pokemon game, but it is a monster taming game and monsters taming games, I don't know if I said that right, but monster taming games are kind of, I, I look at it as like Pokemon, you know, like a scuffed version of Pokemon, but hey, I guess you could say it's a different story, right? <laughs> But yeah, gang, we got Blue Town. What, what? Bloom Town? No, not Bloons. Um, but we got Bloom Town. It's a different story of a narrative JRPG. I'm reading the um, description, by the way. And it takes place in the pleasant 1960s of America. Uh, not too sure how this is going to play out. Um, I'm not even sure if this is going to, you know, get a lot of views. I I'm sure this isn't really going to get a lot of views, but I'm just playing this just to play something different. Uh, I might make a series out of it. You know what? No, I'm, I'm going to make a series out of this. Uh, it's been a while since I've done something like that, so I know not a lot of you might watch this because this isn't Pokemon, and you know at, at this point I don't really care. Uh, whoever watches it, I do hope that you guys enjoy this right here. Again, it's gonna be a different story. <laughs> so if anything, leave a like down below. I'm gonna leave a link to the Steam page so that way y'all can support the devs if y'all want to buy the game for yourselves. And let's get started. Oh, what the fight? Yo, hold up. I thought that was the... Yo, I'm not gonna lie. That really... That really... Yo, I hope this game don't have jump scares, bro. That that really got me. Uh, But, I, hey, that's how you know this shit's gonna be a good game. You see how the... You see how the continue block... Blotting? You see how the continue button is blocked off? And on top of that, the name Bloomtown is now Gloomtown? But it's still a different story. I, I mean, I get the fact that it's a different story because, you know... It could be a different story because like Gloom Town, Bloom Town, shut up. Okay, bet. Select your difficulty, eh? Normal. Wait, what? Normal or hard? There's no easy mode? Shit. I might as well just go hard mode, if anything. What do I look like? Oh, wait, what? Oh, look, you can fast forward it with P, or you can auto off it with Oh? Emily. What's good? Oh. Chester? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, why you woke me up from my good wait? Why was she slumped like that? She had bad po I'm surprised her back is like really good because she had really bad posture when she was sleeping like that. God damn. At least, you know, lay your back down. I mean, at least, you know, like lay your head down and stuff. But the old lady that's behind her was probably like kicking her and shit. Are we there yet? Why would you wake her up and ask her? Are we there? She's sleeping, nigga. She doesn't know. Now quit waking your elders up with dumb questions. Facts. You're not elder. Mom's elder, not you. For the summer. You can treat me like one. Mom said, while you're staying with your grandpa, Emily is in charge. Ooh, got you where. Dad says we're equal. Ooh, equal in fighting terms? And if dad hadn't got kicked out, ooh, damn. We wouldn't have been sent out here to live all summer. Why dad got kicked out? You still thinking about dad moving out? Why did they have to send us out here to the wilderness? I had that dream again with dragons, walking trees, and flying creepy fingers creepy stuff um it's just our younger brother <coughs> ha because you're a psycho okay fuck i'm not a psycho isn't that what the doctor said no that's not what he said the doctor said oh the doctor that doctor was a dummy anyways oh grandpa cooper sleeps soundly and i won't wake him up grandpa cooper what do you think he's like you thought about what we'll do there uh, sometimes I don't have enough energy to get out. Why? Wait, why? I wouldn't want to get like this deep into like conversation with my brother. Sometimes I don't have the energy to get out of bed because that that doesn't have any, that doesn't pertain to like the conversation. He's talking about I hope Grandpa Cooper is um is something. What what does me getting out of like having energy to get out of bed would like have to do with that type of conversation? What's Grandpa Cooper like? Guess he's old. Wait, they never seen their grandpa before? What the fuck? Billy and Mandy faced ass niggas. You think? Probably grumpy and wrinkly like a raisin and you know looks like mom and I bet he beats and I bet he beats people with his cane <gasps> What just like old just like all old people, right? Was he a pimp? How did they get that old anyway? <laughs> I think they must be born that way. No way. Come on, Brett How are they born that way nigga like that means you would have been born old stupid put two and two together man This really is our younger brother Seriously, wait, I hope I wasn't the one that said that Seriously, I've never seen anyone I know ever get older. I mean, well, you are in like your, what, you're, you're like 16, my nigga, or 15? Not you, not mom, not the neighbors? That's strange. I think we're getting close. Wait, what? 
Look, I think we're getting close. Bus stop, Boomtown. Oh, we are close. This is us. We're getting off. We just gonna get off right here? Like while the bus is still moving? Relax, Emily. Chill. All right, let's press P. Oh, ch 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 ch. Ah, auto off, auto off. Damn it. <laughs> they had said something, but I don't know what the fuck they said. Yo, this is it. We have arrived upon the lands untouched by civilization. The expedition has begun. Why are you suddenly talking like a dork, nerd ass nigga? Why are you so boring? Nigga, that's not fun. That's not a fun way to talk. What? Ooh, look at this. Okay, so we play as Emily. Dope, dope, dope. I thought we had to choose between the two. Okay, so we get to choose our own traits. Nice, nice, nice. Damn. Okay, so what do I want? Emily's knowledge. Oh, what the fuck? That's a nice ass truck. Uh, Emily's knowledge level. Helps answer adults' questions. Okay, so the charisma, the riz, helps charm people. Okay, so we definitely want to point in that. Uh, helps her this makes decisions. I listen. I don't know. Wait, I I feel like I'm good at decision making. Unlike these other YouTubers, I feel like I'm good at decision making. Uh, I think we'll we'll see if there's ever a point in this story where I got to make a decision. We'll we'll find out. Uh, helps her do certain things better. Definitely proficiency and smarts okay so these two right here i don't feel like i have any problem with except for this one so you know what uh i troll a lot i i do have confidence in myself trust me when it comes to like super hard questions but in this case since she's probably smarter than me we're gonna do we're gonna do the smarts he's so young grandfather is a vampire i thought i told you we should have bought the steaks Calm down, Van Helsing. Hi. I'm obviously not your grandfather, but I know. So who are you? Where did you hide him? You won't squeeze a nickel out of me. What? Partly since I don't have one. Sorry. Uh, do you know where we can find him, Mr. Cooper? He was supposed to Oh, wait. Do you know where we can find Mr. Cooper? He was supposed to meet us here. He's busy. So I came in his place. I'm George, by the way. You must be Emily and Chester. Who the fuck is you? Wait, how... Go ahead, weirdo. Lead us through your creepy village or skip the pleasantries and shove us into a black Cadillac. God damn, he's really sketch. Bloontown is in a village, <laughs> dickhead. It's in the name. It's a town. <laughs> We're going for a walk. Sorry, he went two hours on the bus without talking. He's trying to make up for it. So, where are you guys headed? Chicago. Oh, damn, they're going to walk to Chicago or some shit? Okay, so we got Mr. Clean right here, right next to the bathhouse. That's what's up. Hey, uh, 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 yo, G. Oh no, that's for the other cars to stop. So this is the crib. Oh look, there's a dog. This nigga, gonna, he just gonna walk behind us. Even a movie theater, dope. Okay, there we go. Auto is off. Actually, you know what, Gerald? Perfecto. Oh shit. Okay. Oops. That that was terrible. I was not expecting. I didn't know that shit was like gonna. Like I thought I could fast forward it but turn off like the automatic speech so we just miss a whole bunch of shit ah hello george see what laziness does to y'all oh, is that lazy would i call that laziness or impatience one of the two and who are y'all wait hold up who bitch is this not mr cooper our grandpa just kidding i was about to say but he looked mad as shit though if you're just kidding why do you look mad thanks george you can go goodbye mr cooper see you around guys Later, George, whoever the fuck you is. Why he dipped like that? Hi, Grandpa. Just imagine. I'm not imagining anything. I have a very busy schedule and I don't have the time to imagine things. <laughs> Inside the house. Now. Oh, what a fucking douche. Oh, great. We get a dickhead as a goddamn Grandpa. You gotta be kidding me. So, children. As you'll be living in my house. You'll be following my rules. Oh, Lord. Here we go. This man, he about to have mad strict rules. Okay. Nice place, Gramps. But my tummy is rumbling. I need to eat something too. Ugh. Fine. Then go to the kitchen and eat something. You're not gonna cook something for- Wait, this man, he got a pre-made burger in the kitchen. What the fuck? Why- How you get a pre-made burger in the kitchen and you got a sliced open sandwich thingy right over there in the top? Hey, Emily, I bet this big old house has lots of secrets. Where do you think we should start? I can't wait to start digging through everything. If Gramps hear that boy, hey, there we go. Hey, I have a big garden in the back that 
could use an eager young digger like you. Whoa, buddy. You didn't have to use it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we'll see tomorrow how well you can dig. My little digger. <laughs> uh, don't touch anything here without my permission. Damn. Okay, so we can move. Okay, we can run. All right, so first of all, first things first. Let's see. Options. Let's go into... What the fuck? Oh, hello? Bitch. No, bro. Chill. All right. Uh, oh, E. So, let's see. Difficulty is normal. They don't have... Wow. They don't really have, like, the whole... They don't have the auto run shit. All right, let's go. So, what's good? Look, Emily, Grandpa even has a phone. It's a fact. Who we calling? Uh, we can call Mr. Lovely. Wait, is that the Miss George nigga? I don't know. Let's call Mom at home. Mom's not home. She's at work. Maybe I'll get her later. Bet. Let's hang up the phone then. All right. So, what's the vibes? What's the vibes? Yo, little bro, come on, come on over here. Can I push this? Okay. What was this? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Interact with this. Hmm, interesting. Wait a minute. Don't go just yet. This old man needs some help. This old man needs some help. You two need to get some. Fuck. Well, there's a question. <laughs> there's a question. There's a question. That, uh, 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 you. you kids are at. To know the question <laughs> i'm too old and i forgot everything already what was the name of the king what the one achilles sailed to troy with bitch i don't know hold up oh wait I, I might know i might just know this question if i think back to ancient greek right or ancient rome yeah um damn who who did achilles ah uh, fuck like they said he went on boat. Uh, he who did he go to Troy with? Hmm. I know Odysseus was the one that made him go to Troy. Wait, he went to Troy with somebody, bitch. I, man, last time I read about this shit was like back in high school, my nigga. I don't know. I don't know nothing about this shit, boy. <laughs> I, damn. Uh, face the tongue. No, it doesn't fit. I knew I wouldn't hear any smarts out of you. Oh, okay. To hell with these crosswords anyways. You can do them if you got nothing to do. Newspapers can be found in different places. Nobody's going to be offended if you guess a word or two. You hear that smart stuff? Oh, wait. So I can use... Can we actually do that? Hold on. No, we can't. Eh, eat a dick, Grandpa. This burger looks delicious. Yum. Mine. Does Grandpa know how to cook? Probably not. Hey, man. If he doesn't know... If he can't remember a goddamn... Oh, look. A hot dog. That's a hot dog, bitch? I thought that was a sandwich. And I was afraid they'd only have broccoli here. Or whatever old people eat. Yeah, you know, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, carrots and shit. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, watch out for the knife though, little nigga. Yo, what the fuck? Why he got up? He ran to the kitchen. So, I thought about it. And I decided you kids will be on the second floor. What, we was gonna be on some Harry Potter shit and be on that first floor right there? Uh, <laughs> you can choose your rooms yourselves. Feel free to look around the house. But there hasn't been children here since your mom finished school. Damn. So you need to clean up around the place. I mean today. I haven't been through this. Um, I haven't been through those rooms for a long time. There's dust up to my eyebrows. One more rule. By 10 in the evening, everyone is in bed. I'm no spring chicken anymore. Can't go running around after you in the dark. Alright, Gramps. I don't know why you got up to say all that with that cane. You did a lot of work having to come all the way over there. You could have just waited until we got by that by that sofa oh look there's a special there's a special recipe for my mom's special pie all the others are wine recipes this bitch don't open the refrigerator right now Ooh, why why is that gramps what do you what do you have hiding inside the fridge let this old man rest and don't fool around in front of the tv all right whatever nigga hey wait what's inside here though let's see let me vibe oh grandpa what's behind this door that's where i keep all the nosy kids and let us look you two are as stubborn as your mother. <laughs> That's not the reaction I would have expected. But if you promise to behave, I'll show you what's inside. Yay, wait, hold on a minute. Behaving is hard. Damn. <laughs> Stupid nigga. Listen, you're gonna get us fucked up if you don't, like, behave. Okay, so the keep out room is automatically for him, I'm guessing. 
because they got that shit set up for that now. Uh, leaving on the set, leaving, living on the second floor is so cool. No, not really. All, all them walking up and down the stairs or shit. No, I feel like I'd rather like you know live on the first floor. But I, I wouldn't have to do that much walking to get to the kitchen, bathroom, garage. You know how much beauty there is in a single story home, bro. If you say so, dummy. That just makes it further away from the kitchen. Stupid ass. I just said that. You see, me and Emily think alike. So Goofy, rather than going into the room that was obviously meant for him, that shit says keep out. He ain't go inside that bitch. Oh wait, this my room? <gasps> I got to create a room. Wait, hold on. Locked. Another Bloom Town mystery. Or is it just a closet? Is this locked as well? Okay, so I guess this is officially our room. Do I have to collect it with my bare hands? Hell no. There must be a broom somewhere. Yeah, fuck all that. I'm not going to like do all, do any of that shit. Hold on. Give me this broom. You better watch out dust. Because I'm about to dust the shit. Because I'm about to dust the mites out of you. Yeah. Yeah, that's clean. Well, that's done. Wait, what the fuck? You missed a spot. You got them two dumbbells right there. Unless they're supposed... Unless they're meant to. You feel me? Get Get me. Hear me out, hear me out. Unless they are meant to hold the carpet or rug right there. This shit definitely needs to be clean. Let me see. Interact with this. This looks like a real workshop with the right know-how. You can build almost anything here. Damn, she cleaned that bitch in an instant. What the fuck? Hold on, what's this? Wow. Sinatra, Benny Goodman. Ooh, Gramps, he got a taste. What are they doing there, though? These old vinyl records sure could give a boost to this summer. Yeah, playing a little bit of Frank Sinatra in the summer. Ooh. I mean, well, no, that's more like a winter Valentine's Day thing, isn't it? Uh, pff, a lot of y'all who's watching this probably don't even fucking know about that. I don't even myself. But hey, I know I listened to a couple of Frank Sinatra songs. Fly me to the moon. Is that Frank Sinatra? I don't know. Maybe. I think I'll add a little bit of spice to this collection. I just need to find a store. Facts. All right, what, what else? What else do they have here? What what is this? Nice view, just right for. Oh, uh, okay, whatever. Oh wait, what's this? Oh look, is it unlocked? What do we have in here? Old textbooks, stationery, trinkets. Not too special. Some kind of photograph. There's a treehouse. Some teenagers and a dog. Wait, what? Treehouse teenagers and dogs. Our new headquarters. Must be so cool to have your own treehouse. I wish I had one too. Same to be honest. Oh, we got one photo from the chest. Nice. And so she just stops right there. Ooh, I love the stop animation. Yo, the stop animation is actually pretty clean. Hold on. All right, we can play the records right here. I can listen to them if I get the record working. Okay. Ask grandpa about the record player. Hmm. We, we will, we will. What's this? This shit look like it got blood in it. Ugh. Oh, wait, what the hell? We just changed like that? Damn. Good crib. Is she holy? I don't know how I'll get used to this place. Why can't I just be lying on my bed back at home? Mom is just being selfish. Says she sent us away because of work. Yeah, right. She just doesn't want to deal with us. We're already missing dad, but I'd rather be sad at home than here. What am I ever going to do here all summer? I can handle this, but in case it gets bad, I'll save up some money and get a ticket back home. I'll try to get to know grandpa a bit better. Maybe he's not so bad. I'm going to make the most out of this place. I, I believe in Gramps. Ew, no, ew. Damn, she doesn't want to think about her grandpa. Wait, what the hell? Hello, Emily. Don't be afraid. You're sleeping now. I am Lucifer. Nice to make your acquaintance. Will you chase me around and try to eat me alive? Or are you going to mimic everyone I know and tell me how horrible of a person I am? Damn. Neither. You should watch less TV and maybe even consult it with a shrink. The thing is, you've come to a dangerous place. Bloomtown is threatened by demons. I hope there's... Wait, what? I hope there's a church in town. What's that got to do with me, my nigga? This shit ain't got shit to do with me. I think... You can save everyone. Lucifer has asked me to save people? The fuck? This game is on... This game's on some shit. I'll give you the power to do so. I'd rather get the power from God, my brother. Because I, I, I've heard about you, my nigga. I've heard about you. You got niggas that, that like Hitler over here. 
he's probably like one of these niggas. He's probably the nigga that, that, that the nigga that's playing the piano is probably like Michael Jackson or some shit. If you already have this power, why don't you like you know save people yourself? I wish I could. I wish I could, but unfortunately I cannot leave this room. I used to keep the peace of these places, but I fell victim to an insidious plot of vicious villains. And now I am imprisoned. And now I am imprisoned beyond reality and the other side. That's why I offer you a contract. You will get the power of a personal demon guardian. And in return, you will save the city from demons. It's a city or a town? Yeah, my nigga, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I can't trust a nigga named Lucifer. Sooner or later, you'll realize what I'm talking about and change your mind. Wish you have a good summer vacation. Try to stay alive until our next conversation. Fuck. Bitch, you got me fucked up, bro. Fuck I look like. Oh, oh, good to be awake. <sighs> I've never had a conversation like that in my dreams before. Why didn't I agree to signing the contract? Am I passing up on an opportunity? Oh, you know, well, it's just a dream. Oh shit, Gramps, what's good? Wake up, wake up. Rise and shine, Emily. Did you sleep well? Uh, could it be the last day of summer already? I slept okay. Just a little early. early. It's summer after all. I'm the scariest thing here. You can trust me. <laughs> I have a job for both you and your brother. Come on downstairs. I'll be waiting. What the fuck? All right. What Gramps got going on? Going on for us? Yo, Onichan, what's good? Let's go. Mayday, fire, cannibals, Chester, wake up. Yeah, just a minute. Ah, good morning to you too. My nigga, you changed that quick? God damn. Took me a minute to change. Well, you know, a couple of seconds. All right, kids. Nobody gets a free ride in this house. Everybody has a J-O-B job, nigga. Now go pack. Oh, wait. Now go buy a pack of butter at Misery's store. But we're on vacation. All right, let's go. The sooner we get to. If there's anything you're not sure about, just ask. Here's the money. Bring back the change. Where's Misery's store? Leave the house and go west. Uh, let's see. West. Okay, there we go. Cross the road and then head north. Misery is gonna be right across the north. He only gave us damn. It's sixty cents for a pack of butter. He, his ass is gonna sit right back down. All right, cool. Let's go, little bro. So okay, so where should we go? How do I know? We only got here yesterday. And open your map. I don't want us to get lost and have to survive on rain, water, and worms. All right, so buy misery shit. All right, so misery shit is towards the west side so the west is left the east is right east side what side all right cool so that shit's right there let's go mm, ah, ah, uh, uh, wait a minute let me go say hi to this little let's get a little pup oh, oh you're so cute hush hush i'm already leaving a oh, little bitch all right let's go over, let's let's go before they like try to whoop us if I can cross the street, I would do be able to eat what's good off of growing bone. Wait, what the fuck? He's tying his shoes and shit. He lucky. All right, well, what's good? Nadine, be quick. It's time for my break. Sorry, sorry. I like the beans and butter, please. She about to get the last pack of butter. Maybe a chocolate bar too. No, no thanks. Mom said to grab only what I, only what we absolutely need. Oh, darling, be a rebel while you're young, before you wither away in that garden of yours. Sorry, but who are you? <laughs> I don't remember seeing you before. Okay, so I knew there was something that had to do. So these skills they come in handy then. Damn. Okay, so always lose. There's a, so I have a fifty percent, fifty-eight percent chance of you know winning. Beam success easily. Hello, ma'am. We're Mr. Cooper's grandchildren. Ah, Cooper's, huh? Oh, I was just asked to deliver these seeds to Mr. Cooper. I'm dragging my feet about it because he can be a bit intimidating sometimes. Could you maybe deliver them for me? Sure. We're glad to help. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize the cat was right here. There's a kitty sleeping. Better not disturb it. On the apples? Okay. Yo, ma'am, what's good? He said, what, we can, what can we buy? <gasps> Pack of butter. That's what we needed to buy. Right, let's get one of those okay so butter restores health 
Oh, this only costs one cent. I'm getting five of these hoes. Hold on, wait, 10 of these hoes. He said bring back the change though. Cabbage. I don't like cabbage. Man, grabs he can he can understand, bro. We ain't got shit at the crib. He he he'll understand, bro. We bought butter at Miseries, bro. We bought one pack of butter, like he asked. Only thing is we did buy five apples though. But he listen. Oh, wait, wrong shit. I don't think he would mind if I go on his newspaper though, right? Let's see. Solve the crossword puzzle. I don't think anyone in their right mind would, you know, mind if I worked on this crossword puzzle. Which iconic figure is associated with women supporting the defense industry during World War II? Betty Boop. Wait. Damn, no good. What the fuck? Yo, I don't have time for this shit. Betty Boop was the... I thought it... Why would Betty, Betty Boop the... Whatever, bro. Yo, Gramps, I got the shit. Grandpa, I found an old record in your room, but it's broken. Can you fix it? Ugh, all this noise. Yes, of course I could fix it. Even you could fix it. There seems to be a part missing. A stylist with a needle. I expect you to find... Oh, wait, I expect... I was going to say, I thought he said... I thought he was going to say, I expect you to find one at the pawn shop now. But he really said, I expect that you can find one at the pawn shop. The player's in your room. So it's your problem. I'm not paying for that part. Nuh-uh. All right. You kids are slow as molasses. Why? Why? So you think you could have went faster than me? You bring the change? Hmm. Takes about 72% chance. You didn't say anything about change? Let's try it. Success. Easy. Three successes in a row, baby. Oh, really? You two think your grandpa has lost his marbles and can't count his own money? I mean, bitch, you told me the other, like, yesterday that you, like, have bad memory, nigga. Okay, okay, I'll remember your little trick. <laughs> I got your ass. Ooh, nice. Oh, shit, our guts went up. That's dope. Now, let's get to the garden. There's work for you, too. And no talking your way out of it. Really? Oh, thank you, Gramps. That's a one scary-ass scarecrow. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, this dry-ass farm. Hold on, here we are. Grab a rake and sort out those seed beds. Once this place is straightened out, you can run around, play, or whatever you guys want. I remember back in my days. <laughs> ah, you know what? Whatever. Whenever you're done, find me in the house. We have to decide what to do with that package. Grandpa. Ooh, it's a parcel for Grandpa. Uh, do I give it to Grandpa or do I say nothing? Let me say nothing. All right, later, Gramps. Hmm. All right, so he said something about grab a rake. What the fuck is the rakes? I mean, I found a shovel. What the fuck? Ooh, damn. God, there's nothing. Ooh, where is the rake? Oh, there's the rake. But I think I got the rake. Apparently, that was the rake that I got. Even though it looked like a um, it looked like a hoe instead of a rake. But hey, let's just clean this shit out. Boom. There we go. Phew. Job well done. Indeed. 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 There we go. Alright, now Gramps. Gramps them, he knows we clean with it, boy. Hold up. The charm went up. What's going on up? Oh, we playing the back. Well, that's it. All is done. Hi, you came. Sure. I'm always happy to help. Let's get started. Wow, those are some nice seed beds. Good start. You're gonna need seeds. And easy beezies. Oh wait, am I done? Looking good. Now comes the important part. You gotta water the plants. Gotta go. That was fun. Thanks a bunch and have a nice day. Appreciate you. What was her name again? I'm not, not even too sure. Yo, let's go talk to Gramps, bro. Phew. Let's go talk to Mr. Cooper. You youngsters finished already? Yes, Grandpa. Just like you wanted. That'll do. Here. For your help. Your grandfather is no cheapskate. Damn, bitch. We made the money back. Almost. Almost. Wow. This place is growing on me. I just remembered. I could use a half a dozen dandelions for my wine. There's plenty of them in the main line. The local kids hang out there. Maybe you'll make some friends and have some fun. The wild land is at the end of the street. Just go east and don't make any turns. Okay, so we're going to the east side. Where is the wild lands? Look, there's plenty of them here. Let's go. Let's go grab some dandelions. Woo! Are you sure it's actually pretty relaxing? Why would you want to... Are you, are you sure you want to be grabbing dandelions? Huh? What? What do you want? You grab too many dandelions? Oh, it's four kids pulling up. 
Hey, have you seen a girl around here? Our age, brown hair? Ooh, it's a 42% chance. And my smarts are what? On two? Let's see. Easy success. When did your friend disappear? The day before yesterday, I think. Maybe we should report this to the police. They won't listen to us. We pranked the call them too many times. It makes your job way much harder. Fucking idiots. God damn it. See what happens when you play too much, bruh? This is what happens when you play too much. Will you help us find them? We're gonna help them, right, Emily? What will we get? Let's try to... Maybe we'll accept you into our pack. Lucky. Uh, you know what? There's a forest to the north. To the west, there's a runoff ditch. There's the tree house to the east. And to the south is town. That's where you came from. Alright, so, got it. I'll tell you if I find anything. It's finally starting to feel like an adventure. I'm gonna hang out with these guys. Alright, I'll have a look around by myself then. I'll tell you if I find anything. I'll check the woods. I'll check by the creek. I'll go over there. I'll check the woods too. Alright, whatever nigga. Let me just pick some more dandelions. Okay, so, I'm supposed to be picking dandelions. Let me pick two more. Let me pick a few more. Cause I see a note over there. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, we're chilling. In that moment, in the moment that your prize nears, you fight upstream and face your fears. Plunge your hand into the hollow tree and feast on Bloomtown's mysteries. It's kind of creepy. Kind of slender man ass shit. What's good? There's no trace of her behind the stream. Tell me about your missing friend. I never talked to her much. I hang out. I hang out more with the others, so I don't know her too well. Okay, so we gotta find this chick in the wildland. Let me see. I'm sure, your friend is fine, my nigga. Relax. Oh, we'll find her soon. You'll see. Ain't that? Oh no, that's my brother. Thank you. You make me feel a little better. Phew, got that charm right, right back up. Thank God. My luck is great, bro. My luck is great. Now right, we got ourselves an apple. What the fuck is that? It's an entire worm. Ugh. Is this her? No, it's not her. No need to go any further. She's not there. Okay, I'll go. Later. Oh, uh, well, actually, you know what? Tell me about your missing friend. So she didn't give any type of useful information. Her friend got to be here somewhere. Oh, her friend is inside the treehouse, bit. Wow, a real treehouse, just like in the photo I found. The people who built it must have already grown up. So it belongs to everyone now. We can hang out here and not be afraid of anything. You know what? Since we can hang out here and not be afraid of anything, right? Maybe that's where she is. A padlock. Locked. So how do I get inside? I asked the locals around here. Proficiency. Smarts. I'm sure there must be a key somewhere. Fuck! Hmm. What if I could try to break it? 42%? Really? It's because I'm trying to break into the shit. That's the fucking why. Go straight above the tree. Um, go straight above the treehouse top. And check the log for the thing I dropped. My security system. Oh, he's talking about this stupid note, man. Is this some kind of riddle? There's a log in a field that you've already found. Next, find a rock. Have a good look around. Or just try diagonal left from the bird's eye view. Maybe check over there. For a prize that may fit you. Okay, diagonal left. Bird eye view. Okay, so he said next find a rock. I don't know where he expects us to find the rock at. Because, you know, that bit said... No, wait, no, that's um John Cena who says you can't see me. But I'm not too sure where this bitch want us to go, bro. No cap. Because we're looking for a rock. Oh. Oh, we found it. Easy. So, ladies and gentlemen, the episode is actually getting a bit far, farther, further, farther than I than I imagined. So, you know what? Before we even meet, like, whichever mons that we got to catch, whichever monsters that we actually got to capture, uh, I'm a bit tired. So, I'm going to dip on the first episode. Let me know what y'all thought about this, about this game. I feel like it's a beautiful RPG game to, to start. They got motherfucking, like, farming. They got chores and shit. Hold on, chill. And they even got an AFK screen, bruh. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to end things off right over here. Next episode, we're going to go right into the treehouse, see what they got going on inside there. And yeah.
hope you guys enjoyed anybody that's here still i will see y'all subscribe for some more random games like this let me know what y'all thought about the random games if y'all think like um i should keep on doing shit like this because playing like you know different games compared to like the different the all types of pokemon games that i played it's always a good relaxing so i'm gonna catch y'all in that next episode or video peace